Hello friends, I am going to show you how to change the version of your AutoCAD DWG files, so that you can open it, with a version of the AutoCAD that you have, for example, if you have AutoCAD 2010, and have an AutoCAD 2018 file, then you will not be able to open it with AutoCAD 2010, so for this, you need to somehow convert it to a previous version of the file so that it can be opened with your version of AutoCAD. So I am going to show you two ways to do it quickly. One is online via Internet, which is the Cloud Convert tool. And the another is using a free Autodesk program called DWG TrueView. And to begin I'm going to do it with an AutoCAD file in 3D so that you can see that it is compatible with 2D and 3D versions of AutoCAD files. So in this case, I have a version of AutoCAD 2018 and for example, I have my AutoCAD which is 2010, will not be able to open this AutoCAD 2018 file. So what I am going to do is convert to a previous version, to 2010, for example, then I am going to do it like this. And I go to the program, browse file, select the file. Open. Here, select the output format. I will select DXF. And here comes the important point, here, I click on the tool. And it requests me the version of AutoCAD. I want to make it compatible. Then I go to the version 2010, as I was telling you. And I'm going to click on, OK. And to start converting it, I click here on Start Convert Ion, very well, it is finishing converting it, and that's it, just here. Click to download and now the DXF file here is opened, the file without any problem, even being DXF. Open the drawing in 3D then, how can you see? It is a quick way to be able to make the change, but the other way that I was going to show you, is the way of Autodesk itself, which is going to do it in a more professional way, the way when use Cloud Convert ES for an emergency at a time when we need to do something fast suddenly, to visualize is to make some small changes, but with the TrueView we are going to be able to do it in a more professional way. Then we go, we go here, if we want, to download now, or we can also do it from here, DWG TrueView and download now, and the only thing it will ask for is the platform and the language, in this case only in three languages. Then we are going to choose English and download. And execute, here it will ask you to indicate the path where you want to unzip to start the installation. They leave you the default path or if they want to change it to another, no problem, except click on yes, click install, accept. If it is not seen on the computer, press the enter key, again enter, or accept, and the installation will begin if it asks them this, just automatically close. OK. I'm ready to install, and we are going to run the program. You have AutoCAD installed, you just put skip association on it. OK. Then to run the program, then click here to start converting the DWG files or here. In this case I am going to click here and here, as you can see. There is the option to convert to various AutoCAD formats. But I am going to do it first with this version 2000. As you can see, there is an option in a folder in place. In this case it goes to my documents in place. The file is overwritten, so I am going to do it quickly here in version 2000. To see how it is created in a folder, I click here to add a file, select my file and I convert it. It became another version. I go to my documents, click here, to open, and as you can see, 
It is in 2000 format so it transformed it to a format of lesser year, and now, what I am going to explain is here in place, means as I mentioned, overwrite. So I can also put in, for example, version 2010, but in a folder and not overwrite. I just right click new, and it will make a copy of 2010. This I will indicate it to convert 2010 here, folder, in folder based, converting in 2010. Continue, and here I simply have to put that it will be in folder, and select the folder that I want the files to be written, and here also to remember, we are going to put folder, and you can also do some other configuration here, but we are going to leave everything by default, click OK, and I also have to do in a folder and not overwrite, now a final recommendation, when you are in your AutoCAD. To define and save configuration in a format or a version of AutoCAD defined by default, go here. Click in the A of AutoCAD A and in Options, click here, in Open and Save. Save as. And select the more standard version with all their colleagues a work team that handles an established version for AutoCAD, for example. If almost everyone has AutoCAD 2013 or 2017, then it would be best to work in AutoCAD 2010 version. If there are not some specific functions that they are using from a higher version AutoCAD. But normally there should be no problem, then I'm going to click here and OK. Every time I saved a new file it will be saved in that version of AutoCAD. And also remember that you too, that here in Save As, you can choose in which version you can save the AutoCAD file. Well that would be all, if you like it, click on like. You can also share this video with your friends or colleagues. I invite you to visit the social networks of this channel, and I also invite you to subscribe to receive updates on the new videos. Have a great day. Until next time.